Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to read data from a file using buffered reader class. In the previous video session, we have created a students.txt file in which you learned how to perform different write operations using buffered writer class. So let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it. So here we go, it is showing the writing operation completed and you will just open the content of student.txt file. So here you can see the names are written there, right? So in today's session, you will learn how to read these names or how to read the data which is present in some file using buffered reader class. So let us come back to the program. So here instead of or in place of buffered writer class, you will use buffered reader class to read data from a file. So let me just remove this part from the try and I will use the buffered reader right. So buffered reader is also present inside java.io package. Buffered reader, reader is equal new buffered reader, right? Or inside it, you will pass an object of a file reader in order to read a file. Or here the file name is the student.txt. Students.txt. So please make sure your file name must be correct. Otherwise, it will show some exceptions that is file not found. Or unable to read a file. This is students.txt. This file name must be correct. So right now, this time I will remove these line of code. It is not required. And I will just make a small change in this statement. The reading operations completed. So we are trying to read the content from a student.txt file using buffered reader class. So let me just create a string variable in which I will read each line of a string type. Then I have to apply a while loop with a condition until you will not reach till the end of a file. Okay. So how will you just read each line? So we have a method read line method of a buffered reader class. So here in place of condition, I will just call a function reader dot read line function. So the read line function is used to read a line of text, right? So here we go and I will store in a variable that a line is equal. That is line is equal reader dot read line. So I will just iterate this loop until and unless the you will not reach till end of the file. So I can write is not equal to null, right? So this is the condition you are applying inside a while loop. So after this simply, what will you do? You will just display using a system.out.println each line you will display, right? So this is, this will print each line which is present inside a file. So let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it. So let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it. And here you can see the content is here. It is showing all the names like James, Mira, Ram, Kabir, Smith and it is showing the reading operations completed. So guys, this is the way how can you perform the read operations or how can you read the data from a file and will be displayed to the console. So I hope you understand the concept how to read the data using buffer data class. So guys, thanks for watching. In the next session, we will read the data from a file from different methods. So bye for now. Have a great day.